guys, welcome to another video. Today I am unboxing something quite rare, um, which I managed to get off eBay. It is another pneumatic vacuum. Uh, I know right, I know a few people know what this is. Uh, if you're on Facebook groups and stuff, and um, I have to apologise as well. Sorry, Ryan. I did outbid you, but you know. Um, but yeah, this is the second one of these that I've actually outbid Ryan on. Although the first one was yellow. So if you know what that is, then yeah. But I don't. But yeah. I got this for about 40 odd pounds. This. A bit more than I was willing to pay for it. But, you know. I thought I'd go in large. I didn't think it was go go as much as this actually did. But, you know. Right, so there's that. Uh, let's just do this side. Bang. Bang. And yeah, it's quite battered. But it should clean up alright. If I'm honest with you. Yeah. So we've got packaging. And wow, this is really cool. So, first thing to pull out. Wow, they're so heavy. We've got two original blue wands. Now these are quite rare. Saying that one's really dinged up. But yeah, they are really heavy compared to the the, the, uh, the other ones that I have. But yeah, at least they ain't stuck together. I have got the original floor tool, although it is completely battered to hell. But that should clean up fine. I have the hose end now. It's in very bad condition, actually, this hose. But I might strip this down and repaint this actually if I can get the original blue because it is very dented but it does fit into the um, the ones like that but yeah that is very um, uh, knackered more packaging and then the vacuum if you lift out here so this is a basil from the uh, mid 90s it's a blue one I've never had a blue basil I've had a yellow one I've had a, um, a couple of red ones, and I've got a blue one now. It will need cleaning up, but yeah, it's all right. It's not got the original plug on it, but no. It's kind of Vodex plugs that they go on these, pretty widely available. Um, it is from the 36th week of 1995. Uh, the little peg for the, um, the, the little grommet thing on the back's missing. Looks to be used as a decorator's back, this. It's covered in paint. But it looks alright, so it has got the newer style daff in this. And yeah, it's pretty clean inside. I mean, yeah, that's pretty clean. But yeah, this should come up alright, this, with a polish. But yeah, I quite like that. Um, what we'll do quick is I'll just take the back panels off. I'll find my screwdriver up here. I'll just take the back panels off just to make sure. Well, I'm going to take the suppressor out. Um, I'm just very wary of suppressors going nowadays. Um, it's been a part before because it's not been put back together right. So it's obviously work done. So get this apart. It. That comes off. These little pegs snap off anyway. Not too fast. The diffuser's missing as well. Of it. But yeah, I'm so happy to have this. It's just going to look really nice cleaned up. Uh, that can come off. And that can come off there. So, the press is not blown, but we're going to have it out anyway. So, all we do is to remove this press without any tools. Just give it a wiggle. And bang, and bang, that comes off. And then this can, this little resistor can just be pinged out. Like so, there we go. So that's in there, that can go in the bin. Um, yeah, that little peg's gone, but I've done these before with a screw, a little tiny um, wood screw. Um, it's also been pat tested. Um, 
when was it pat tested last it was pat tested in 2015 so good literally like five years ago no yeah two, four years ago 2015 was wasn't it but yeah this should clean up quite nice i mean it's just dusty and a bit scratched but it really should clean up nice i mean the tubes i might them ones don't need anything doing so well might try to do something the bottom one but that one i'll just repaint it i'll just try and go to halfords get the same kind of paint mixed up or something and repaint it but yeah it should be all right So while we're here, we'll just check the plug, see what the plug's like. If it's well. See what the plug's like, just in case. It's not wired up correctly, but yeah, that looks fine to me. So that can go back on there. So, let's uh, plug this in. Um, it's got the original hose, so hang on, before we plug it in, we'll pull the masking tape off the end of the hose. Just so we can see what's happening under here. So I do just wanna just make a hole in it. I bet this is proper split up this end. Yeah, it's quite knackered this end. Yeah, that is quite split. And that is very corroded. So, it's just pulled all the paint off pretty much on that. But they're in blue inside, I've just noticed. But yeah, with that, I'll try ping that out. Um, smash that out in there, maybe, somehow. I mean, the paint's just coming off. And then sand it down and repaint it. And then we've got the, the cuff which is very short and it has split so we'll leave that bit of tape on there just so it's um yeah so it's just holding together so we'll put these really he these are really heavy actually i think they're more heavy than the um the what's name tubes the um uh, the what they called the normal ones, you know what I'm talking about, the silver ones. They're definitely heavier than the, um, uh, aluminium ones. So, we'll, uh, switch it on at the machine, we'll plug it in, we'll see how it runs, and then we'll, uh, might give you a little demo. So, the plug is going into the socket, or into the RCD, uh, turn it on, and... <laughs> Yeah, worked well, absolutely fine. Probably will strip the motor down, doesn't sound too healthy, but. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. Um, and yeah, that should be a nice addition to the collection, especially when my room's done up. I'm doing, I'm going to get my room done up. Um, and with this on the display, all polished up and stuff, this will look quite nice. So yeah, um, just put the handle like so. And there we go, there is the... Um, well, my new 1995 pneumatic basil MB200. So, I thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And of course, bye for now.